guys it's nikki and welcome to my channel thank you so much for watching today's review and just like chit chat about topolinos terrace at the riviera resort in walt disney world do you want to preface do have a cold so that is super fun sorry for my nasally sound today but we're just gonna roll with it because i need you guys to know about all the things about Topolinos, okay? Let's get started. In today's video, as you know, we are gonna be talking about the character breakfast and the dinner experience at Topolinos Terrace. So Topolino actually means Mickey Mouse in Italian, and I just Googled the pronunciation to make sure I was saying it. Sometimes you'll hear it as like Topolinos, but it is Topolinos per the Google translation Italian that I found. It was on YouTube in a video, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna take that as a win. But it is called Topolino's Terrace of Flavors of the Riviera. So you are going to see a lot of Italian and French inspired dishes at this restaurant and just throughout the entire resort. Disney's Riviera Resort is a Disney Vacation Club resort. So this means it is a part of the Timeshare, I hate using that word because it's so much more and better than just a timeshare, but that's an easy way to explain it. The main signature dining restaurant, Topolino's Terrace, is at the top of the Riviera. So it's actually a little tricky to get to. You have to go into the main lobby and then walk down a really, really long hallway. You're going to pass the coffee and pastry shop you're going to pass the library which is like just a fun relaxing area where you can sit you're going to pass the restrooms and at this wall it's going to be a beautiful painting of the castle that is something that is a very cool and interesting and just unique about the riviera is that there are paintings everywhere and if you head to the gift shop you can actually purchase those paintings we do have a couple in our home absolutely love them cannot wait to add more and it is just such a fun way to bring disney into your home in a very unique way um i won't get into that yet but to get to topolinos you are going to walk to the castle picture and then you're going to take a right and that is going to be your elevators all the way up to the 10th floor i believe and that is the only thing on that floor is the restaurant, which is really cool because it does have a terrace and it overlooks the pool areas. You can see the Epcot fireworks from the restaurant as well, which is a very nice and unique touch. You're welcome to go out to the terrace. If you're sitting by one of the windows, you're welcome to watch them from the dining room. I don't believe they pipe in the music though. So if you watch the fireworks from California Grill at the Contemporary, they do pipe in the music. I was I was honestly expecting them to pipe in the music for the Epcot fireworks. They did not, that's fine, but it does take away of the experience a little bit more. They're still nice and you can still see them and it's a good, great experience to have. Would we do it every say? Probably not. Would we rather just take the Skyliner back to Epcot or even the boardwalk and watch them? We could also do that as well. So just know that you are able to watch the fireworks from Topolino's Terrace, literally the terrace, or you can see them inside if your seating is by one of like the window areas. Today's video is really going to dive into the difference between the character breakfast and the main dining experience. So maybe you only have one opportunity to visit Topolino's Terrace during your stay and which one would you like to go to? Should you do the character breakfast or should you do the dining experience? In today's video, that is what we're going to be focusing on. So let's just start with the character breakfast. So the breakfast is run from about 7.30 to 12.15. So this means you could have a reservation at 12.15 and you would still get that character dining experience and like more of a brunch than we would should say if it's at 12.15. But it is still going to be the characters and you're still going to be able to have that full experience. Dinner starts at 5, so they're open from 5 to 9.30 for that dinner service. So they're going to have that little lunchtime break there a little bit. But if you really think about it, 
if you have a reservation at 12 15 you're going to be there for at least an hour so they really probably aren't clearing everyone until about 1 30 2 o'clock depending so having that 12 15 p.m reserva reservation isn't that terrible um it could be your like main meal of the day sometimes when we're at disney we'll do one main dinner or signature meal for like a lunch or a breakfast and then we'll just have like an uncrustable or a smaller snack throughout the rest of the day for our other meals so just keep that in mind as well if you're going to have that mid day reservation we do normally have an earlier dining reservation for that character breakfast and we like it to be around 9 or 9 30 it really depends on one what is available the character breakfast res dining reservation is very sought out and it is hard to get so one of my tips and tricks that i like to give people when they're trying to make that dining reservation is to push it further into your trip so the disney resort guest you can book 60 days in advance for your entire Day. if you are not staying on property you can only book your dining reservations each individual day at a time our june 1st dining reservations open i think it was like april something we were able to book that whole week in your dining reservations if you have any like really hard sought out reservations try and push them to later in your vacation because then it's going to be easier to get well if someone was staying May 31st through the 7th that June 1st and June 2nd and maybe even June 3rd reservations might be a little more full than the 6th 7th and 8th so just keep that in mind when you're planning out your vacation I am a certified travel agent and I specialize in Disney vacations so if you need help with that there's always a link in my description down below. I'd be happy to assist you. But that's just something to always keep in mind for any sought out Disney reservation, especially for Topolino's Terrace character breakfast. The dinner, we haven't had a ton of issues getting, honestly, but the character breakfast is still very, very hard to grab. Let's dive in to the Topolino's Terrace character breakfast experience. So the biggest thing about the character breakfast is you get to dine with characters. And the four characters that you're going to dine with are Minnie, Mickey, Donald, and Daisy. And they're going to be in their amazing, very unique, specifically for Topolino's characters' outfits. It is amazing. When I say that these are the best character interactions I have ever had, these are the best character interactions I have ever had minus the cruise line that's just like not even comparable so let's I, well, there we go okay so take this with a grain of salt but i have heard through the grapevine that in order for mickey and minnie and donald and daisy to be at topolino's they have to be the best the best of the best characters and yeah that's you get what i'm throwing out good i'm throwing out it is such an incredible experience whenever someone asks me about a character dining or where they should go this is the one i recommend while not only is the food amazing the riviera in general is amazing character experience cannot be beat while their outfits are adorable and the interactions that the characters have with you are great the little song that they sing bello bello do 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 do, 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 do. and it'll be stuck in your head for the rest of the day and for months and months after but it is the best every once in a while jackson and i will just like randomly catch each other singing it it's pretty funny but it is such a wonderful and just like ooh, makes you feel so great experience for their outfits so they're all having some type of like passion or job per se mickey is a sculptor donald is a painter minnie is a writer and daisy herself is a ballerina so this past january we did run disney and my friends and jackson and i we all dressed up as the topolino terrace characters adorable it was so much fun people loved our outfits and it was just oh i just love this character interaction so much and again it cannot be beat anywhere it is the best why is it the best why does it 
So why are these character experiences so wonderful? First of all, they take time with you at your table. They're, it's a big restaurant, but it's not like huge, huge, where the characters feel like they have to rush through everyone. All of your characters will come to your table. And if they don't, just let your waiter know, be like, hey, we missed so-and-so and they will make sure that they come back to you. Um, but all the characters will come to your table at least once, possibly twice, depending on where you're sitting and how long you've been there. But they just really take their time with you. They will take all the pictures and have something prepped and ready to ask them. For example, we went to Topolino's Terrace during our run Disney race not this January but last January and we were talking to them about our runs and so then we asked Donald Donald do you like to run and he was like running and then he was like oh I'm so tired so just be ready to ask them a question that's easily answered without speaking and the biggest thing is don't overthink it just have a great time and really focus on them being Mickey Mouse or Minnie Mouse or Donald and Daisy and that's it. Don't think about it a step further if you get what I'm throwing out to you. Yeah? Yeah? But the overall experiences are just so, so wonderful. Never had a bad time there. And on top of that, the breakfast is amazing. So now let's talk about the breakfast menu. So all character breakfasts are breakfasts are normally going to be a set price. So adults are $49 and kids are normally around $30 and that is nine and under. When the restaurant originally opened, you could select anything you wanted and you could order three entrees if you wanted now they've changed it up a little bit so now you can order one entree and then if you want a side of something you can also do that so i will order the avocado toast as my main entree and then i'll get a side of the mickey waffles just make sure that you preference that you want the mickey waffles and not the sour cream waffle they will bring you the sour cream waffle if you don't say I would like the Mickey waffles and they do have Mickey waffles available for the kids and you're more than welcome to get those but just make sure you tell them that or they will bring you a side of the sour cream waffles which are fine those are good but again I character breakfast I want my character waffle. well I enjoy the avocado toast Jackson really likes getting the wood-fired steak and eggs that is really good um just remember you are paying $50 so I wouldn't recommend getting like the fruit plate as your main entree definitely you can get that as a side but you also get a bucket like a paint bucket of pastries and they are mm, delicious literally the best pastries I could go there, eat the pastries, not even have an entree, and hang out with the characters all day. I'd be happy. They do offer the pog juice, coffee, any like beverages. They have cocktails, non-alcoholic beverages as well. Um, and then they do have alcoholic beverages. You can get mimosas, anything in general for like breakfast or brunch lunch whatever you want to call it so those are also all available let's chat about the dinner so the dinner is not going to be that preset price you are going to have an option to purchase whatever you would like or i should say order whatever you would like on the menu um the dinner experience like i said it starts around five o'clock and then the restaurant has their last reservation at 9 30. normally those epcot fireworks are going to be off at nine o'clock ish and so if you have a later reservation, you're more than welcome to still go up. You could sit at the bar even and grab a beverage and then go out to the terrace before your reservation. Is. Because this is a signature dining experience, they do technically have a dress code. They are not very sticklers on it when it comes to wearing park clothes, I should say. While a lot of these restaurants do say they have that dress code, they just don't want you to show up in your bathing suit like straight up don't come in swimwear they'll ask you to like it says it on the website please no swimwear you just need to be like clean neat good to topolinos in a very cute lily poulter dress and i've also gone in leggings and a sweatshirt because we just came from epcot uh last time we were there for jackson's birthday we literally all had his face on our shirts 
not a big so just don't feel like you have to go back to your room take time out of the park to change get refreshed for dinner you definitely can i would recommend just packing that in your park bag with you i did that one time when we went to the contemporary we wanted to change and just like get refreshed for dinner but we weren't staying anywhere close to magic kingdom so we just packed those clothes in our bag for the day and then changed once we got to the contemporary before going up to california grill so it's definitely an option don't feel pressured just just make sure that you're presentable um, when you're going there it is again a signature dining experience it is a fine dining it's very nice and they really try to make sure that every person's experience is top don't feel uncomfortable if you have to come straight from the park because the majority of people are doing that as well so for the menu you cannot go wrong with literally anything my favorite starter is the ricotta cheese it comes with the bread that you get with your bread service for the meal but just know that you probably will need more than what they give you which is fine you can always ask for more it is definitely a shareable starter i would say uh but it is very very delicious um i personally don't like snail but my grandpa loves the escargot he always gets that when we visit and then the salads um are good as well for the main entrees from jackson's perspective this is the best filet mignon on property and a lot of other people believe that as well we've had many filet mignons across property and this one is definitely the best i normally like to go is the rigatoni when they don't have the lobster available they used to have they used to offer this lobster dish i don't even know what it was but it's no longer on the menu it hasn't been on the menu for a while like a couple of years that was like my original favorite but the rigatoni is so good it has chicken and noodles and like mushrooms and black truffles you, oh, mm, just thinking about it just thinking about it um makes me want to go back we're not going back we don't have anything planned for this year yet but for topolinos let me rephrase delicious it's probably one of my favorite meals last time when we were there for jackson's birthday in march i got the filet mignon just because he talks about it all the time and i regretted it i really missed my noodles my sister got the noodles or the rigatoni and i went and stole a couple because it was just so good and i regretted my choice when i changed it i should have just stuck with what i liked and it didn't worry i shouldn't have worried about Everyone always talking about the filet mignon. I should have just freaking got the rigatoni. Oh, let's talk about the best thing on the menu is the warm chocolate cake as your dessert. This is Jackson and I's absolute favorite, 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 favorite dessert. We eat it probably in about three minutes it is a warm chocolate cake with like a caramel center and then it has chantilly cream and i even think like probably a little bit of vanilla ice cream and raspberries oh, it's the best they actually offer this at the quick service um primo piatto um which is right under the restaurant just at the bottom level and it is amazing nothing beats finishing your meal but you're already stuffed but it's like you have to get it because it's the best and it's just so fun because we know going into it we're like this is our favorite meal this is our favorite place to stay this is our home resort and it's just so special to us when we are able to visit and go because it just brings back a lot of memories of our experiences there and i think the biggest thing for me when we go to the riviera is thinking that so we purchased our dvc um contract in 2019 and so that's almost five years now that we've had it which is like crazy so we can vacation there for the next 45 years and that's just crazy to think about all the memories that we're making now but 
all the memories that we're going to be able to make and that just what that's what makes it so magical and special the biggest question you're probably asking yourself but nikki which one do you like more if i could only go to a character breakfast or a dinner which one would you go to and honestly i would say the character breakfast and i know that jackson even probably would say something different but I personally think the character breakfast is such a unique experience that you're not going to find that anywhere else. Well, you're not going to find the amazing rigatoni, the amazing warm chocolate cake, the amazing filet mignon anywhere else. You can always eat those things at other restaurants. Is it going to be as good as Tobolino's? Probably not. But the character experience that you're getting while it's probably price wise it might be a little cheaper it depends on what you get um the filet mignon is about 59 dollars so if you think about getting a beverage and all of that hoopla if you would get a starter as well it's dinner is going to be more expensive than that character breakfast experience but the character expect that's not but that's not why i would pick the character experience over dinner i would just pick the character breakfast over dinner because of the unique experience that you're going to get can you go to other character breakfasts across property yes are you going to have better character experiences and breakfast no most character breakfast meals are a buffet they're fine. It is what it is. You're there for the character. Topolinos, you're going to get an amazing character experience and an amazing breakfast. You're not going to be disappointed. 100% worth the money. Pick the characters. You're welcome. Okay, right, so that's going to be it for today's video. All about comparing the character breakfast experience versus the dining experience at Topolino Topolinos Terrace Flavors of the Riviera. I always love saying that. It's so funny. Um, but I really hope today's video helped you. If you have any questions, please leave them in the description down below. Happy to chat further with you about that. It is always hard to decide, but just know um, that if you are wanting to book any of these more sought after reservations, push them later in your vacation because then it'll be easier for you to grab. But I hope you guys have a magical rest of your day. Please give this video a big thumbs up. Make sure you are subscribed to the channel so you never miss a magical moment here at home or at the theme parks. We're heading there very, very soon. So you do not want to miss out. But I will see you real soon. Bye.